In this particular presentation, we can discuss about pointer arithmetic. So, following are the different types of pointers. Classification based on the type of data it points. It can be classified as pointer to data and pointer to function. There are different types of data pointers like int, character, float, etc. In all cases, pointers has the same size as the operating system bitness. In a 32-bit operating system, it is 32-bit, irrespective of what type the point is. So following on the different types of uh, data pointers, int star, char star, float star, or in general, a custom data structure, then follows by a star. As I mentioned, all are 32 bit in size. If all of them are 32 bit in size, then what is the difference between these different types of pointers? Difference is in number of location, the pointer jumps when you add one to the pointer variable. The pointer arithmetic is counterintuitive at times. Sometimes you get 1 plus 1 equal to 2, sometimes 1 plus 1 equal to 3 or 4 etc. It depends on the type of the data or the type of the pointer. So what does that mean? Suppose in PTR equal to 100. Now the address in the variable PTR equal to 100. What is PTR plus 1? PTR plus 1 in a 32 bit operating system is 104. Because the size of an integer is 4 bytes. So when we say PTR plus 1, we are saying we need the next integer, not the next byte, because PTR is an integer pointer. So by the statement PTR plus 1, we are telling the compiler, hey compiler, I'm already pointing to an integer, and now I want to point to the next integer and not the next memory location. So that's why it is becoming 104 because next integer starts at 104. It's not at 101. So let's see a demo on this particular concept we have discussed. So we have the same program up here. In star PTR equal to 0, PTR equal to PTR plus 1. So all we're going to see is the value of PTR after this statement. I'm going to start debugging. So I hit the breakpoint here. I'm going to add a watch for this variable. So currently the variable contains junk because it's not initialized. So I'm going to press F10 to execute that particular statement. So it become 0 or null. So now I'm going to add 1 to it. So as you can see it became 4 instead of 1 what we did is 0 plus 1 which became 4 because it is an integer pointer and integers are 4 bytes in a 32-bit operating system. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to make this char so char is 1 byte so we are expecting 1, so we got 1 here, so we are good. If I do a 16-bit variable, which is white cat underscore t, it will become 2. So in all cases, the size of this particular variable is 32-bit. So the difference with the type of data here a point variable makes is the number of location the compiler gems or the instruction compiler generate is different for different types of variable. Everything about compiler nothing to do at runtime so it is a compiler which is interpreting this particular variable as a white cat and adding 2 to the PTR. So it's a decision taken by the compiler at the compile time. 
So now let's go back to the slides. So we have seen this demo. So here is an example to help you understand how different types of point variable behaves. So in this picture we have streets which has big houses and small houses. The address of the house can be put in a small visiting card. The same size visiting card is required for big houses as well as small houses. Now I have a visiting card which has address to the big house and I am giving the address such that whatever address is in the visiting card you have to go to the next house. In the streets which has the big houses you have to travel more distance to reach to the next house. And for the same instruction you have to travel less distance if the size of the house is less in the street. The visiting card equal to the pointer and the data type is similar to the big house and the small house. So the PTR plus 1 is equal to telling go to the next house. So the jump when you add 1 to a point variable is equal to the size of the data type. So we have seen char star jump is 1, in star jump is 4 because integer is 4 bytes. So to know the size of a variable you can use the size of operator. Also the pointer arithmetic has only minus and plus, no division, multiplication etc. In, in subtraction as well as addition we follow the same rule. So we are going to see a demo in which we allocate a chunk and accessing it with pointer arithmetic. In this particular program we have allocated 100 bytes of memory using malloc and assigned to memory PTR. So it's an integer pointer variable. After that what we are doing is we are accessing that memory region which we have allocated here as character variable using a character pointer. After that what we are doing is we are writing 1, 2, 3, 4 up to 100 to that entire location. This is PTR plus 1, PTR plus 2, PTR plus 3, etc. And we are using the star operator to dereference it to access the memory location and assign i to it. So let's see the output of this program. So our allocation is successful, otherwise it would have been null. We are not checking the point available to make things simple. So now we are running the for loop. We'll go through a couple of iteration. So one of the things we can do is we can look at the memory and see what is the value in the allocated region. So currently the allocated region contains junk value. It doesn't contain anything. This instruction doesn't do much. So it is just an assignment. This instruction is supposed to write, so i at the moment is 0, 0 to this particular location. Now I am pressing F10, so we got 0 up there. So PTR equal to this particular value and i equal to 0. In the next iteration, it should write 1 to this location. Let's see that. Currently, i equal to 1, so we are expecting this to be 1, so PTR plus 1, and we got it. So like that, if we continue, it will become 2, 3, 4, etc. So if you press F5, you will see up to 63, which is 99 in hex, has changed, like this. Now what I'm going to do is 
I'm going to stop debugging and I'm going to change this to int. This is also int. So pretty much this statement can be outside this for loop. Actually, we don't have to typecast it because it's already an integer pointer. So we can remove this as well. So we have to allocate 400 here because we are iterating up to 100. So 100 into 4 because integer is 4 bytes. So now let's see the run of the program. So we'll put a breakpoint here. So we'll drag and drop the memory. So memory contains uh, junk at the moment. We got a valid allocation here. So this is currently junk. So allocation is OK. So as you can see, all these four bytes got zero in the first iteration. All these four bytes got zero in the first iteration. Now let's go for the second iteration. In the second iteration, again the four bytes changed. One, zero, 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 like that. One, zero, 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 zero. So all these four bytes got changed. So like that if we continue, we can see that everything is changed up to 63 here. So all changes are in 4 bytes. So every time when you add 1 to this PTR, it will become additional 4 bytes. It will be pointing to next integer, which is 4 bytes away from the current value of PTR. So we can simplify this program using size of operator. So we want 100 integers. Size of int. So instead of 400, we can put 100 size of int. So it's again going to be 400. So but the program is more readable at the moment. So size of also more portable. For example, if there is a platform in which has integer size is 64 bit or 16 bit, this program will work. This is a use of size of operator, so this will pretty much replace 4. So now let's go back to our slides. So we have seen this demo. We have seen the size of operator dereferencing with pointer arithmetic. So here is our summary of this presentation. Pointer types based on size of data. So there are different pointer types based on the size of data it points to in star, cat, star, etc. The difference between the pointer type is the amount it jumps when arithmetic is done. And we have also seen the size of operator. So that's it. Thank you very much.